Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to move your zero point on your UV printer using the Hanzo Soft and also how to actually get to print two foot by three foot instead of only 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters if you have the 6090. This will work for the 3360s. You can get it to actually print a, um, a little bit larger as well like this. I, I, have, I have this bed set to two foot by three foot equivalent. And then uh, we just want to go ahead and bring in a file. I don't care what file, so just import in a file. Um, and I don't remember how to do that. Click <laughs> import. And then on the desktop, I always have my color flag. So I'll just grab my color flag. For this. Color flag. All right. And then my spot colors. I have no gloss. Image on the base, whatever. Okay. And print. Okay, so you don't actually need to um, print it this out the full way. You can just print the, the white space and stop, save time. But we're just going to take a measurement of this real quick. You can see here we printed this far away from the edge. But when you switch this to metric, we, we need to move this, let's call this 14 millimeters away from the edge for the X and then it actually started here not there eight millimeters from the Y so I'll jump over to the screen shooter all right so we'll come in here to advanced and we'll go into here and the password is one two three four five six that's six consecutive ones one two three four five six ones one 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 whatever that is six ones you click confirm and it gives me a password error because I didn't do it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm. We're in. We come down here to other. And the X white, the X start is that's 125 millimeters from the capping station or its home point. And we just measured 14 inches. So we actually want to move this over 14 inches. So 125 minus 14 is what? One eleven. And then uh, 10 millimeters minus eight is two. So 111 and two, this is for my printer, may not be the same for yours. And I'll go ahead and click file, save, saving the perimeters. Okay, before we do this, I wanna let you know, it might be a smart idea to go ahead and go into your firmware, export your firmware configuration and export your firmware configuration perimeters before you start messing around by export. In the desktop, I'll just put this as the 6090-1600 export, okay, and then we'll go to firmware, export, 6090-1600. Just so you have your firmware in case there's an issue and you can fix it with that. All right, so let's, let's see where she prints. Go back to RIP and print. All right, so you can see here, we moved it over 14 millimeters to here. And then this one's right on the aluminum here. I actually don't like that. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it that way one millimeter by adding one millimeter. And then I'm gonna subtract one more millimeter this way. Then we'll see if it prints a two foot by four foot. Okay, I forgot guys here. So I just created a new image that is size, you can see here, 609.6 .6 millimeters by 914.4 millimeters, which is exactly two foot by four foot. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a whirl and see if we get ourselves an error. So file, let me go ahead and click um, over here to my other recorder. Okay, file, print. See if we get an error or if she prints. Right, guys? Ripping. This is a big file, so it's going to rip. All right, so... I didn't want to totally trash my board, so I stuck down some tape right here. I didn't want to totally trash my board, so I stuck down some tape right here. Hey, look at that, guys. It's printing. This is 24 inches wide. It shouldn't be. Ooh. I am printing a 24 inch wide on my 60 centimeter machine. Okay, so it's giving me my image at two foot by three foot. That's pretty cool. So don't tell me you can't do it. Oh. What works for me may not work for you. Try it out on your specs. You can move it even a little bit more to the right if you need it to 
to go a little bit wider, but on the newer machines, I can get this thing to print two foot by three foot. And I find that that might actually be pretty helpful for you guys. Um, I do want to comment on here. You can see, sorry, I didn't print the color. I just didn't want to waste the ink. But anyways, you can see it starts about one millimeter in from the, um, the edge of the aluminum here all the way over and it actually oversprays this by one or two millimeters. So it is going to be a little bit larger than your, um, your table, but not much, but you get your 24 inches. Hopefully this helps you out guys. Consider subscribing to my channel and uh, I'll have some links in my description below if you're interested in seeing any of that type of stuff. All right. I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.